Hi there and welcome back to my channel, I'm Mikey07 and before I start this video I want to say big thanks to everyone who subscribed to my channel because last night I hit 1000 subscribers, it's just really mind-blowing, it's just amazing how many subscribers I have reached so far, but uh, let me show where am I today. This is a new game called Outerra Antaworld, basically it's a whole earth is procedural generated and you can just fly anywhere where you want on the planet. Right now it's in early alpha so there's not much to do but there's already some vehicles and aircrafts you can use to fly and drive around the world and actually right now I'm on the top of the Everest, if you didn't recognize this place. <laughs> yeah and you can actually set the snow and so on so let's just fly. Whoa and see there is Earth. This is so amazing actually, I'm still getting surprised by this game, actually you can drive these cars, let's flight it, actually you fly, you can't walk on the earth, it's just flying, maybe you can, but I haven't discovered just yet, so let's get inside this arctic truck and I'll drive around a bit and then I will try to jump from the top of the Everest, so with the enter key you get in your car, you can start the engine, let's turn the volume lower and to see you can change the view, so it's really awesome. Let's go inside because, oh it's snow inside, yeah I was wondering if the snow is inside this car and there is, and actually the snow is only under the, oh I can drive, oh no I can, it's under the clouds because once you fly above the clouds uh, rain and then snow disappears, which is really amazing. So let's just drive around. And of course you can jump anywhere in the map, wherever you want. I'll go to some places <laughs> if I don't fall off. Actually, let me turn off the snow. So with F3 uh, you can go to environment, weather, let's say to dynamic, no, but I just set the snow density to zero. Right, so. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell happened? I got stuck. Anyhow, let's get out. Bye bye, truck. <laughs> it's stuck in the snow. So, yeah, here is the Everest. And actually, let's fly to the highest point of the Everest. So, when you press F2, you can choose where you want to uh, spawn. And let's just write in Everest and it should offer us so certification right now okay so it will load and here is the highest point on the earth this is so cool let it load let's let's wait for it to load it actually should load too quicker anyhow so yeah this is the top of the everest which is so amazing oh yeah now it loads it looks like so yeah here is the Everest and let's let's fly elsewhere. I have already set some locations. Let's try to fly to Lati location. And here we are. With the Whoa! What's happening? With the mouse uh, wheel you can control the speed how far how fast you are flying. So here's the slow speed, you can see I barely move and when I scroll it, I start to move a little bit faster and faster and faster and with shift key you can boost your speed and actually with the G key you can enable uh, the map you can see where you are flying so here is the google map and you can actually see that there is a river here and let's follow this river here and it should go to the sea somewhere yeah let's see <laughs> and here's the Baltic Sea you can see it's exactly the same and actually when you go down on the earth you can let's spawn this vehicle and you actually drive around of course you can turn on the headlights with the L key and there's also some aircrafts like I said instead I just want to drive around a bit it's actually 
really detailed if you looked at the ground and saw it. It's still really loud. Let me turn the volume lower. Alright, now it's good. So yeah, <laughs> this is like I said, early alpha and, and there you can't do much. I'll put link in the description. There's a tech demo where you can just download free version. There's also a paid version where there's some more features like road editing and so on. Maybe it's just that you can make roads or maybe that there is roads. I'll check later on. Maybe I'll even buy it and I'll make more episodes out of this game because it looks really promising and it's really awesome. And it's actually a lot more interesting than the No Man's Skies <laughs> because it was also procedural generated. And it's actually really loud. You can see in the map. And I'm going towards the sea. There is a water. Alright, let's fly to some other areas. Let's fly to New York. Which I already tested. So where where is it? Excuse if I don't know the oh here's if I don't know where is New York. So yeah, let's go downtown New York and set location. And <laughs> here is the New York, you can see. There is no roads or buildings, just the earth itself. But it's still amazing. Let's fly to some water area, as you can see. Here is the sea or let's see actually. You can just rescale this window to see. You should be able to see. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Wait, wait it goes down here. Let's see. Anyhow, so let's just scroll and let's see where are we. So we are at this shore. What is this? New Jersey. Oh, it's a district. Yeah, Newport. So yeah, I can fly anywhere where you want. Which is really, really amazing. So let's fly to some other areas. Let's fly to some desert and leave you here. Let's set location and let it load. It shouldn't take long before it loads. Or maybe I mean the ground already. Looks like. Oh yeah, I was inside the ground. So yeah, here is the desert. Which looks so amazing. And there's also one airport with the press location. Let's go to Airport set location. Alright, and here is the airport. And actually you can spawn planes and fly. So let's spawn one plane. Aircraft. Cessna. It's only plane. Whoa! I guess I was too high in the air. Let's get out. <laughs> I just flipped the plane. So let's get the aircraft and let's take this one. Alright, so you can change the views with the B is for brakes, it's actually really advanced for flying with D, C and X you can stare to the right and left when you are on the ground and with the noom up and noom down you can increase the throttle so let's go on the highway now but on the runway and we'll take off full throttle, no, start the plane full throttle Let's stare to the runway and have full throttle and let's take off. It's really windy actually. You can feel when with the plane you can feel the wind. So yes, we are taking off. We are taking off. It's actually really windy. Alright, and I just removed the wind and it's actually a lot better. It's actually really easy to fly in the small plane. In the full version, there's some other planes. And you can actually change the views inside the plane. You can actually see the pitch and roll inside the cockpit. And you can actually cycle inside the plane with the camera. Just so cool. It really feels like you are in the real plane. Here is the front. Here is the side, other side. Oh, oh, the wing and other wing. This is so cool. And for some reason, it's plane all the time going to one side. 
it's actually mind-blowing that you can just fly and drive anywhere where you want on the earth so let's just fly I'll be jump somewhere let's just oh let's go to the Arctic to the Greenland and its location let's see what's new here where the earth okay I guess it's haven't loaded just yet or maybe is it let's see oh yeah I was inside the earth and you can see there is snow and you can actually try on it let's take this truck and well, let's just drive a little bit around and also here you can change using when you are inside you can switch to the passenger seat on this or this wheel This is so this is so amazing actually. Let's see in the Google map. Where are we? It's actually let's fly somewhere where we all know how it looks like. So let's go to the where we fly. Let's go to the Wait is it Australia? Yeah, let's go to the Sydney. Here. And let's just spawn in the center. Let's let's go here. And here we are. Check out in the map. Here yeah, somewhere should be some highway. You are on the highway right now. And also you can see there's this water. Which also in the map and here's in the world. Here's some lake. I guess yeah, here's some lake. And here is the ocean? No, it can be ocean just yet. Let's see. Oh it's actually is. Yeah. Let's go to the, let's go here and see if there's a water on earth. Oh, see? You can even see this small part here. This is so amazing. Yeah, it would be cool if they would also generate houses and roads and you can just drive around. It should, that should take all day and <laughs> would your lifetime just to explore this whole uh, world map. Actually, I was thinking about it. Would it be actually cool to have this big map in some game? It actually wouldn't be that cool because it would take so much time to just drive from one side to another that you should just play like in one country or something. Because it's just too huge. You actually fly outside to the space. Whoa, and here we are. Here is the planet. You can actually see the sun somewhere. Oh yeah, here's sun, here's moon. You can actually fly inside wherever you want. It's just so amazing. Let's just go to this island. This is this island. New Caledonia. So yeah, right now I'm in the New Caledonia. Just full of full of trees. You can actually see how detailed it's on the ground. Imagine that we were just in the space and now we are on the earth and watching the grass growing. <laughs> and you can actually remove the trees and add trees as many as you want, so let's go. Oh. Let's go to this menu. Yeah. Uh, forest and you can actually remove the trees. So yeah. There's no trees. So it's only the grass it just still looks amazing and you can see as you can see in the distance there's not like a lot or anything it's real real deal and I should change the camera fall effect so you can see it's around the earth it's amazing so let's see where are we in right now oh we are on this island let's go to Japan to Tokyo. Let's go to the Tokyo set destination. Oh, I forgot what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to jump off the Everest with the truck, which sounds amazing. <laughs> this, is, this is just so mind blowing, actually. And you can see it's not accurate because there should be some river or something here. In 
in the map there is some river I don't see it on my screen oh wait oh it just moves so fast oh and here is the river and then it just ends huh <laughs> this is so amazing let's go to this Everest and just let's just jump down Actually, let me show this. Right now we are on above the clouds. So yeah, here is... Here should be this one. Yeah, this is the top of the Everest. On top of the world! It actually looks really realistic. So let's pick up the truck. And let's just jump down. Mount Everest. <laughs> Let's just jump down this side. Come on, fall down. Oh my god, I'm not jumping off the Everest with the truck. And we flip it. Whoa! This is so freaking awesome. Can I jump down now? Oh, yeah, can I? Can, can I? Where is the truck? Whoa! You can actually see how high this mountain actually is. Let's go down and wait for our truck. As you can see, you can't even see it. And it actually looks so realistic. Yeah, just look at this. The sun is just amazing. Alright, and let me show this cool feature about the snow, as you can see. We are right now above the clouds and there is no snow. And once we go under the clouds, you can see there should be snow. And yeah, there is. Check this out. It's so am amazing. And also these clouds are generated. They are not just a picture or something. So you can again go above the clouds and there is no snow. You should actually change the rain so let's set to the rain weather let's go to the let's take off the snow and let's go to the rain and again see the it shouldn't rain oh yeah it's rain above below the clouds you can see see when you go under it's raining and when you go up it's sunny again so amazing all right let me jump to some other locations default locations set location Let's take off the rain, because I don't like the rain. Huh? Let's do well, a forest now with rain, and let's set the default. So it's denied, dynamically changing. But yeah, this is awesome. I really like that there is this ground, and at any moment you can just fly up to the mountain. They are really detailed, as you can see. Even the grass is growing. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to see the progress of this game. There's also a ton of mods for this game already and it's only $15, maybe I'll buy it and we'll check it out as well. But alright, thank you for watching, I'll leave a like, subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!